There is no rule book that is the gospel truth on being a great media communicator. There are, however, a few things I feel are important when it comes to dealing with the media. They are, take charge of the message, be in control of yourself, your message, and to the best of your ability, your environment. Have solid content. Give them something they didn't know to take home with them. For example, is breakthrough technology that allows us to produce ethanol and lignol from waste wood and make money doing it. Be organized. Have your thoughts linked together in a natural and logical manner. In other words, build a solid, clear argument. For example, you may be a green engineering firm that has just developed an urban biomass power plant. You need to offer up a soundbite that lets the audience recognize the value of the project to them. You could say something like, it's a giant leap forward in inner city power generation. It uses waste wood, it's carbon neutral, and if you didn't know it was there, well, you wouldn't know it was there. Make it personal. Don't be afraid to include yourself in the message. It's okay to make statements like, I know or I believe. Recently, I helped one of my clients develop a speech about corporate responsibility. He was new to speech giving, but he was courageously open to the idea of giving relevant examples from his own life. Those examples form the foundation of his presentation, and he knocked it right out of the ballpark. His audience loved it. Keep it simple. The more complex the message, the harder you'll have to work to make it resonate with your audience. It's your responsibility as the storyteller to lay out your argument in a way that people can readily understand. When I was reporting, I used to say to anyone who gave me a convoluted answer, huh? I don't get it. Explain it to me as if I were an idiot. They'd ask me why, and I would tell them that the people watching this story are most likely eating dinner and dealing with their kids at the same time. Make it as easy as possible to understand. Then you just might get them to listen to you. Let your personality shine through. This, in essence, is what authenticity is all about. When you are sharing something that is true to you, I guarantee you people will listen because you'll make it compelling. Make eye contact. This allows your audience to get a much better sense of you. Cicero says, the face is the mirror of the mind and the eyes are the windows of the soul. When John Kerry ran for the presidency of the United States, he did a very poor job of looking into the camera lens. Voters did not connect with him and responded accordingly. Hear yourself finish the sentence. Be in the moment. Listen to your own words. If you don't hear yourself finish the sentence, no one else will either. Give your words clout by letting them sink into the listener's consciousness. And hearing yourself finish the sentence pays off in huge dividends when it comes to editing for TV, video, video online, and radio. This is a waveform. In essence, it's your voice on a timeline. When you talk really fast, the words slur together, making it really hard to pull a clip out from where you're talking. So slow down and hear yourself complete the thought. It leaves a wonderful cut point for the editor to pull the clip that you want to see survive the process and show up in the story. Avoid mitigated speech, qualifiers that undermine your authority. Be clear and simple in your delivery. Why well, say something like, under the right circumstances this might happen, especially if you know in the moment that it will happen. Say now instead of at this point in time. If you muddy your message with overly wordy language or with filters like um and ah, your audience will implicitly interpret this as uncertainty. If you practice your message and streamline your words, I assure you your confidence will grow and so will your perceived authority. Finally, use humor judiciously. While well, humor can be a phenomenal way to focus an audience on your message, it can also be extremely unpredictable and can backfire badly. If you're going to use humor, know the comic taste of your audience, pre-test your material, and proceed with caution. If you follow these basic rules, you will be media ready.